If they are, I haven't seen Jimmy them. Jimmy uh, turned me on to the whole mice thing. I go, Jimmy, uh, I, I, I found a mouse in my apartment. And Jimmy freaked out. He goes, if you have one, that means you have hundreds. I'm like, shut mm -hmm. up, Jimmy. No yeah. fucking way. I got just one dumb stray mouse. And I killed that motherfucker in a glue trap and then proceeded to kill between 50 and 60 more with electric traps. Infestation. Yes. Hundreds? Jimmy was a correct... Oh, they're all around you. They're just trying to figure out how to get back into your apartment because they yeah. know that's where the good eats are. <laughs> good eats. Yeah. Right. The num nums. Huh? <laughs> how'd you get? How'd you get rid of the the mice? I made a deal with them. We played tic tac toe. I won three out of four games. <laughs> <laughs> they had to leave. That's right. You temporarily got rid of the mice, my friend. So Wait. they're still there, right? Yeah. You I would guarantee it. Know what? Uh, any of those electric traps around? I'm not sure. Set one of those electric traps. I guarantee. I will bet you a hundred dollars. But then I don't know if you're going to be bullshit. Shocking that you find one uh, by tomorrow morning. If if I set the one trap, one electric and I, trap. With I'll a, bring it in. Put some peanut butter in there. Okay. All right. You got mm -hmm. it. I'm telling you, they're still around. Let's say hi to Dave in New York. Dave. Yeah. Hey, Dave. How you doing, guys? Good. Good evening. Hey, you. Uh, hey, happy birthday, Jimmy. Thanks. Hey, Dave. Dave do you work in New York City? I, I, yeah, I work in New York City. I'm a pest control operator. I'm licensed in New York and New Jersey. And I just want to let you know you can rest easy, Opie. You know, uh, those egg casings can be dropped in a bucket of acid, and nothing will get inside them. But if you crush them with your shoe, there's nothing that's going to hatch from them. All right. What if one gets uh, in the, you know, the, the, the... Yeah, the tread. The tread of your sneaker or something. No, nah, they, they can't, you know, they got to move around. They can be killed very easily when they're very small. Sir, the uh, way I kill roaches is I sit on them bare bottom. What if some of the <laughs> eggs get caught in my ass hair? <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't, I don't have an answer for that. I wish I did, but... Hey, Dave. Let you know. Dave, screw the roaches. I want to know about rats. Uh, you, you do pest control in New York City? Yes, I do. All right, what's your feeling on rats? How many rats are in New York City? Millions. 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 Rats, uh, Michael. Millions, millions. Of, you know, I, I go out and I, I fight the good fight every day, but there's more and more. I read a... I finally... Oh, I, n I never told anyone. Finally uh, got to the end of that rat book that I've been... Uh, you know, picking up every once in a while and uh, just Look. fascinated with rats. Yeah, they're they're everywhere. Why don't we see more rats then? Everyone says well, there's millions and millions in New York City, but you you rarely see one. Usually they're nocturnal. You won't see them until the infestation is so big that they're running around in the street during the day. Right. So, you know, they burrow underneath. And every once in a while, like if you're driving up West Street and you, you know how they have those little, you know, those concrete things with the trees coming out of them on the promenade. Yeah. Every once in a while, you'll see one of them popping out or popping out of the sewer from there. They're just going to grab something and they're running right back into the hole. So you know they're where I see a, nocturnal. You know where I see a good amount of rats? Not now that they're not doing, they're doing construction, but Washington Square Park. When you walk by at like 3 in the morning at the park... You just see like the the uh, the leaves scuffling constantly. They're moving around. Oh yeah, it is infested. All parks are infested with rats. Yeah, especially in the subway systems. Also, I mean, there's not any time of the day you can go down in the subway and see multiple rats. I know that uh, when I'm walking uh, to the studio in the morning, uh, any garbage day. Just pick any garbage day that there's a bag on the street of New York. If you kick it, a, a rats will come running out of them. And it's happened to be a bunch of times. Oh, my God. Uh, just and plenty of rats. If they actually come towards you and they turn around real quick, they can, they can get you with their tail. Yeah. And that hurts like a son bitch. How, um, how, how bad have you seen, like, roach-infested apartments or rat-infested apartments? I've actually uh, lifted up drop ceilings in office buildings and, and apartments where it actually pours down on me. It looks like a shower head. Full of cockroaches are coming down. On oh. oh, they just start pouring out of the ceiling? Yeah, it's disgusting. I actually, when we're going in to do a clean out, I have to wear um, something similar to like a, a tight turtleneck kind of thing and zip up my, my coverall all the way to the top. How about a because glue hat disgusting. in case they fall on your head? <laughs> <laughs> glue hat. <laughs> a hat made of glue. I wear earplugs. It's gross. My neighbors think I'm insane. I got to strip down before my wife lets me into the apartment. I, I'm standing out there in my boxes. Before I can, I gotta bag everything up before I can come into my apartment. Sure. And the, the thing about rats, uh, you'll never get rid of them. They get smarter with all the stuff you guys are coming out with to, to kill them, right? They learn. It's true. Well, rats are, are smarter than actually mice because what a rat will do is send a probe rat out. If there's something new in the environment, when we bait, they'll send a probe rat out just to 
check it out, see what's going on, and if they come back and everything is all right, then I'll bring a few more of his buddies. It's actually kind of spooky. Wait, the way a they probe work. rat. Now, is that why, like, they've done studies on rats, they've actually heard when you listen real close, one going, but it's not my turn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got point. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> So what's going to end a bad up, feeling about this one? Yeah. What's going to end up happening with uh, with the rats? Let's say in New York City, is it going to get to a point where what's or do they control themselves because there's not enough food? Like how does that work? Mm. Why aren't they continuing well, to multiply to to the point where we have to just give up and leave New York City? Well, actually, if there's not enough food, they will turn to cannibalism. Right. You know, so it's just it's a kind of delicate balance between baiting enough and then taking enough food and harborage away. You know, this is where, like, the parks department comes in. Like, if they keep all the stuff trimmed properly, then there's no harborage for them. Uh, you know, we need to be doing a regular baiting thing uh, on a regular basis for some of these areas where, where uh, you know, a lot of these, uh, they wouldn't allow baiting before, that kind of thing. What do you mean by um, baiting? Like, like, like say, telling one rat that the other one said something about him? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh why God. wouldn't they allow baiting? Well, because you, go, you get a lot of these typical conservationists in New York City that won't allow, you know, they feel that a rat is, is you know, an animal, and, you know, animals Holy have shit, quality of life and that kind of doomed. thing. So the conservationists in New York State, especially in New York City, have kind of tied our hands and kept us from doing the proper thing. We're fucking doomed. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what's rat. doing us in. That's Are you it, kidding me? So, Ridiculous you know, environmentalists. That's it. I, I mean, I'm I'm kind of glad to hear I have a job. That's how I pay the bills. But yeah. I uh, recently I was walking home uh, after a late night uh, drink with some uh, some of the Philly crew and stuff, and we were walking by a brownstone, and there was some garbage, and I saw a rat go running into like the front area of a brownstone where there's some garbage. Right? I go, wow, that's cool, and I want I went in for a closer look. <laughs> And I swear to God, and maybe you can tell me what this means, that the rat hissed at me. I didn't see it anymore. Yeah, no shitty but hissed at you. It started hissing. What What does that mean? Was there babies in the area? It was a cat. No, no. Usually what happens is when you get too close and a, and a rat is trapped, it'll get up on his hind legs and kind of do this hissing kind of guttural sound kind of to scare something away. Dude, or choose your yeah. face off. Dude, let me tell you, I, I was fucking petrified because it was dark. And all I heard was this hissing coming from the darkness. I couldn't run fast enough. Yeah, it's it's disgusting. What, what the, and the problem with rats is on a hardness index, their teeth are actually harder than steel. Is there a way when the rat's like standing up like that and hissing? Did you hear that? You can't just blow by that. Their teeth are harder than steel. Oh, okay. On a hardness index, yeah, they can. Why do they make buildings more. out of rat teeth? <laughs> Smarty. <laughs> Go ahead, Jimmy. I'm sorry, but that that's an amazing like uh, fact about rats. They they can gnaw through anything. Is basically what this guy's saying. Yeah, they, they can actually gnaw through sewage arcs, uh, anything you know below ground, any conduit that carries pipe, uh, that carries a uh, um, you know electrical wiring, anything like that. So they're they're really really a nasty 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 problem. And they also uh, know how to uh, uh, unlock their own jaws so they could like uh, get through like tiny areas and stuff. They unhinge well, they, their own they, jaws. Yeah, they don't have bones. They have cartilage. If yeah, they can flatten their skeletons out. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, if they can get their head into something, they can get their whole body. You can actually take a rat and fold him backwards to where his, at, you know, his head is touching his paint kind of thing. Right, and yeah. He won't break his bones. I heard that's, that's the equivalent of tickling a rat. <laughs> <laughs> he like loves if it. If you fold him backwards, you can actually hear them go, tee hee. <laughs> Look, I'm sniffing my own asshole. Yeah, they kind of laugh about it, like, ah, oh, you got yeah. me. <laughs> you got me. Rats are good natured about the ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> the, the one thing about this uh, book that I read, they said um, at any given time, I think I, I mentioned this on the air, but at any given time when you're walking around New York City, you're, you're within feet of a rat. Yeah. yeah, they said there. There's all sorts of tunnels uh, under every sidewalk. They're in the walls of almost every building. They're just everywhere. Uh, very true. Let me ask very you. Very true. It's it's like a whole network moving right under your feet while you're walking on the sidewalk. What about this way of getting rid of them? I've heard this might work. Whereas, like, what you do is you get into their like nests, and you take out their little their little positive affirmations that they hang. And you write negative things, and it depresses them. <laughs> you could do that. Send them in undercover, like a little rat 21 Jump Street or something. I don't know. All right. Thank you, sir. Good knowledge. Thanks, guys. little knowledge uh, today for everybody. Let's go to Louisiana. Carly. Carly, uh, what's I'll up? I'll wipe that out. Hey, guys. I have to tell you what happened to me. 
I've never heard this happening to anybody else. I'm, I'm building a house in the country, and before it's finished, we move in. One night, uh, well, and needless to say, the